What's up guys? I'm John the Potter. Welcome to the studio. Here we are in the studio guys. I am so pumped for this video. How about that drone shot from the beginning? Shout out, my buddy Tom had that idea for that drone shot and it was sweet. So this is gonna be a kiln unloading video and Literally, I am probably more excited about this kiln than I've ever been for any kiln. I know that's a pretty bold statement, but this, in this kiln node, we have a bunch of these marbled cups, mugs. We have, whoa! We have these Minnesotas that have the marbling in them. So this is like an orange and red marbling with an orange uh, gloss glaze and sandstone. So basically we just tried a, a bunch of different stuff with the marbled stuff. So this is just like a clear glaze over the marbling. And so I thought we'd start this video with before the kiln, because I honestly, I have a feeling that everything that comes out of here is gonna like be so ballin'. Like I'm so pumped to see all this stuff. Some cozy cups, some, got some bigger bowls. We're gonna just like take some pics of the before, then we're gonna load the kiln, and then we're gonna be back and see you in two days from now when we unload this kiln. And then I think we might have some of this stuff going up and go up a doop a deep a doo. We might have some of this stuff going up on Etsy. All right, this is future John. I just wanted to let you guys all know that all the pots that came out of this kiln, which I personally think is the, my favorite kiln that I've ever unloaded, we're gonna put every pot up on Etsy tonight, 6 p.m., November 11th, Monday, November 11th, 6 p.m., all the pots are gonna be live. Uh, for sale. So if you guys want to check it out, they'll be up tonight. All right, back to past John. See you guys in a couple days. All right guys, it's two days later and we are about to open this kiln. And I peeked and everything is so far looking so good. But I want to have somebody help me unload this kiln and give you some non-JTP thoughts about my pottery since I tend to like everything that I do. Um, so let's get my wife in here. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Rory too. My wife, EC, and Rory, our new month-year-old. One month old. You guys ready for this? Let's see it. You ready to unload this guy? I'm super excited. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. So I already saw, I already saw this top shelf, but so we got a bunch of Minnesota mugs that have that marbling in there. So this is just straight sandstone and marble. What do you think of that one? Another marbled. So this one is that red iron oxide marbled with just winter wood. Super smooth. Yeah, I like, ooh, I like that one. The natural Minnesota against the natural glaze. I like it. And this is that marbled clay too, the colored clay uh, with a clear glaze on it. This was just a bunch of random colors and I smashed together. It's actually really cool. I like that one a lot. And then here's a Minnesota marbled. What do you, what do you envision this being for? Like wine or uh Whiskey, Ryder could drink milk out of it. <laughs> Get another Ryder cup. <laughs> and then here's a, what do you think of that? Cool. Bright red. What's the? With winter wood underneath. Yeah, that's cool. And I just got a bunch of random Minnesota, like ornaments and magnets. Oh, oh look at that. Go. Should I take that one out? Holy cow. Yeah, look at look that. Look at that. Show that to me. Look at that. Wow. Oh my God. Okay, look at this bowl. Do you see this bowl right now? Wow, that is, what is that? That's copper ore. That's beautiful. Copper ore over sandstone. Like, this thing is, that is so cool. And it's on bee clay. And look at the outside, look at those drips. Holy cow. I like love this so much. Yeah, Look at this. Is, Isn't that like yeah, freaking cool. That is like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Cozy cup. Cozy cup. Orange. That orange, bright red, or bright orange gloss over winter wood. 
Another cozy Another cup. Another cozy cup. <sighs> that sandstone, just yeah, feel that. I love this. I love this glaze. It's so awesome. I'm excited. Mako just said that they were um, coming out with their new stoneware glazes, and they're gonna get me some this year. Nice. So last year they came out with sandstone. The best. Oh, cool. It's the best. They don't know what to take. They're all I know. a lot of marble Holy here. Holy cow! Look at these. Look at this. I like, I like the blue just on the inside. Yeah. And on the handle, and this one is orange. Oh my. So this was the red, the orange, the blue. It'll be interesting to see if people like the gloss on the outside. I know. Or the matte on yeah, the outside. Yeah, so those two were matte. Like this one has a gloss on it, so I carved that. That's really That's cool. cool. Oh my gosh. And the handle actually looks nice with the contrast of the white. Yeah. And the... the mug. Okay, so here's another red inside this time. Oh! Same matte. No, sorry. Oh. Another bright red. Cozy cup. Those are so nice. Like, how did I get so good at making those? <laughs> okay. Okay, another blue. Wow. Okay, but what's on the inside? There's so that's also... winter wood and bright blue gloss. Do you are you a fan of just the straight? No, no, I like the straight blue. Like no. this is the straight blue. Like, look how nice that is. Yeah, that's cool. And you put a little thumb. And I put a little thumb thing on it. Nice. That's cool. The bottom. Look at the bottom. Yeah. Woo! I, okay, I you love this combo. I this do love this. one of combo. your faves. You don't? No, I do. No, I do. But I just know you love it. Ooh, the inside is sparkly. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, let me see the sparkly inside. A copper ore over B clay. Copper ore over sandstone. It's a good sandstone. size mug too. Here's a marbled with the blue on top. That's I cool. Think, what do you What do you think? I think I like. Is it the copper ore? That's copper yeah, ore. Yeah, I think I like that. Oh, I like the natural. Can I keep enough? Natural the brown. The natural. Yeah, you don't like. So here is oh, blue. I like that one better than. Than that one. Yeah. I don't so this know has why. the gloss. It has more white. It has gloss. It's gloss glaze. Yeah. With the blue on yeah. top, so it's glossed. And then another. I like them all. How am I ever gonna decide? Why do you have to decide? I don't have to decide, I guess. And then here we have some. Here's some just straight. Yeah. Clear, clear gloss. Inside. That looks nice. I'm like, it's like intoxicating. I'm so excited about these. Okay, here's another right? one, you same. Yep. I like this kind of sets. I mean, they're obviously all different, but they are very cohesive. All right, we got one more shelf left. We need artwork here and we need artwork here. I did offer to do a mural in here. That's cool. So all gloss. All gloss. Do you like the JTP on the handle? I don't know. A little JTP right there. So there's a matching, there's two yeah, matching nice. ones that are yeah, full gloss. Wow. Yeah, those... Like, are these just So was that the turquoise or the blue? <sighs> I think that was the turquoise. Might die of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are very cool. Like literally, this is what it's all about. And this is the whole thing. There are way more over there with other yeah. color combos. Which you can Super actually single, um, you can single fire these. A couple of these I fired, like this one, was never bisque fired. It only got fired once on the glaze. So like all those. Single fire? Single fire. As long as you're not doing like two, like these I probably wouldn't have where I put winter wood and bright blue gloss. Right. Because then you just like, if the water is going to sit, like you want to do only one layer of glaze. That's my thought right now. Other things. Ooh. So here's a marbled Minnesota with the bright red and the sandstone. That's cool. Sandstone looks so good, even if it doesn't have those like little fleck things, like little crystal things or whatever. I don't know if I like love the overlap, especially when you have... You don't love the overlap? Well, or what, I don't know, it's just, I don't know. Oh my gosh. That Minnesota is very cool, and I like how it ties in with that bright red and the sandstone. Yeah. So maybe, is there a way that, what would happen if you didn't, oh, like, if you just, like, went Just went it? right up to it? Yeah. It would just work. It would just. Can you Ooh! try it for me? So I think I like, so Ooh, this that's one. That's cool. So this one has a gloss, so it's like blue and turquoise. That's so, cool. That's really cool. Okay, so. What's the difference? Because that, like... So this has sandstone over the whole thing. 
See, I like how it kind of blends into it. This is, I don't like the stark line. Yeah, I think that's just, well, that's sandstone over bright red gloss. This is blue surf over sandstone. So you can't get that same effect with the red. Well, I mean, maybe I could try. I don't know. Might, might look great. Some more of just the red iron oxide marbling. That looks pretty good. Oh! What? Look at that. Oh, that is cool. Just like the... Cool. More, a little more simple background with a... That's cool. That's so cool. I like that orange better, I think. The tangerine. The, than the... Tangerine, mason stain, better than the... Than like bright. this one. Oh yeah, that has, this has both of them in it. Yeah. I mean, I like that bright too, but... Oh my gosh! That's cool! Oh. Like, seriously, guys. One. Oh, but this one's gloss. That one has the gloss. This one has the gloss. What do you like better, gloss or no gloss? Wow, that doesn't I look mean, pretty cute. I mean, on my hands, I like the all gloss. You do? Yeah. I really like the non-gloss. I think I like the non-gloss. Oh, oh they're gosh. very, it'll be interesting to see what they like. Yeah, what do you guys like? It's probably hard to tell, like, yeah. big, big difference, because it that is. That is really cool. It is a lot of, so red iron oxide marble. I think gonna be a hit. Like, the natural and the natural. I think everything that came out of this kiln is gonna be a hit. Should we just I put agree, all the stuff I, up I'm on Etsy? Like, what? Should we just put it all up on Etsy? All these pots going up tonight on Etsy. Yeah, let's do it. I don't know. I kind of just want to keep it oh, all. Look at this one. <laughs> this is cool too. So that same, but then you carved. Yeah. Cool. So Minnesota one again. Here's a Minnesota orange, orange and red Minnesota in the orange gloss. That's cool. And that's, that's it. it. That's it. Last Woo -hoo. one. <laughs> that was like probably my favorite kiln opening ever. Until the next one, because there's a lot more marble than that one. No, but that one had the Minnesotas marbled. It had some cozy cups that were good. It just. Okay. What's... Oh, that bowl. My favorite mug. Yeah. All right. I'll pick my favorite and you pick your favorite. Okay. I think my favorite mug is this one. I think this is my favorite mug. It's got the, it's got the thumb print. It's got the really clean looking blue inside and it's just nice in the bottom. I think, I think this one might be my, might be my favorite. All right. I, well, I, I, I'm all about bright colors, but I don't know. I just like the, I think this goes really well together between the Minnesota and the glaze. Yeah. This is my fave. And I would totally, this is my size and type of mug for my morning coffee too. Well, you, you were just witness to probably the best <laughs> kiln opening ever. Not just because of the pots, but because my wife was here too. This might be the first one you've ever unloaded with me, ever. On camera, yes. No, in real life too. No. Well, we would love to hear what you guys have to say about all this new stuff. So comment below and let us know what was your favorite thing out of this kiln? Did you like the gloss or the no gloss? Oh, I like that one too. Did you like the, just what did you like? What did you not like? Yeah, that's beautiful. And we'll let you know I'll let you know, future John will let you know if all this stuff is going up on Etsy and when it's going up, because definitely some of it's going to. For sure. And I want to be motivated to make more of that marbled clay. So if it sells, then I'm gonna just like make so much of it. So anyway, as always, subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell notification to be notified, and we'll see you guys in the next video. I should do it. Okay, you do it. <laughs> <laughs>